Welcome back again. Yes, you're watching us here on the Daily Debate. I would like to welcome um, one more time uh, Dr. Sharif Amir, who is a professor of political science, for joining us here. Uh, we want to know from you about the significance in terms of uh, the choice of President Assisi this time for his uh, f uh, foreign tour in terms of Belarus and Romania, and as well the timing that comes along with choosing these two destinations in particular. Well, <clears throat> we have um, seen lately that Egypt's foreign policy is based on diversity, that we have relations with every nation in every continent. Mm. In Asia, we had excellent relations not only with China and Japan, but we had also in, in India, we have excellent relations with Vietnam. Mm. It's an unknown country for most of the Egyptians. And the same thing in Africa, we have reached out to other countries as we became head of the African Union mm -hmm. and before that. Mm -hmm. And now <clears throat> we had our relations with the European Union, which is excellent, with the Western European capitals, Paris, London, Berlin, and we have in, in Rome. And then we have this special relations between our neighbors, uh, in the Mediterranean from Europe, meaning Cyprus and Greece, and we know the interest that we are sharing mm -hmm. in the, um, the riches there in the gas fields. And then we have the relations with the Balkan part. I mean by that Bulgaria, we had the mm. president of Bulgaria here in Egypt and President Sisi went there. And then now we're, we're heading towards the relations with Belarus mm. and Romania. Belarus is known to be a very close country politically and, and in cultural terms to Russia. Mm. And uh, it has excellent relations with those who has excellent relations with Moscow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it has deals through the oil, the pipelines, and all these uh, uh, market uh, of, of energy. It has its own role and its own position, and also in the military industry. Mm -hmm. So I think that when President Sisi uh, chooses such a destination, it's, just, it's for several re reasons. Mm -hmm. The first of all, Egypt's position has to be known to the world. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Unfortunately, we have suffered a lot, a lot of setbacks since the so-called Arab Spring in 2011. And then mm. we had the comeback in 2014 of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi as the first democratic, democratically elected president of Egypt. So this is very clear that we have to represent mm. our position. We mm -hmm. cannot waste any more time. Yes, but we, we, we want to talk even a little bit further before 2011. I mean, um, it seems to be that this is the first visit of an Egyptian president for Belarus, for instance. And mm -hmm. um, the, the, there is definitely no doubt that Egypt is not only there to reflect its position worldwide, but as you said, now there's a lot of um, things ongoing in Egypt that it needs to promote for mm -hmm. in terms of foreign investment. Moreover, it's presidency of the African Union, so now Egypt is speaking on the behalf <coughs> of the African continent. So let's elaborate more about this move that is new of its kind in history uh, towards uh, the relations between Egypt and Belarus. Uh, the history is very related to, uh, in two uh, segments. It's um, the military industry mm. and the expertise because uh, since um, the, in the 1960s, Egypt uh, got in very close relations with the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia, and uh, other parts of mm. uh, uh, the communist countries at that time. And these relations continued afterwards and after the fall of the, the Soviet, Soviet Union and the communist bloc. We, we kept these relations with these countries. We didn't admit that there is one side that we should side with mm. 
which is Washington. We continue working with Poland, with uh, uh, Russia, with uh, uh, Romania, mm -hmm. and all these countries. Mm -hmm. So the relations with uh, Belarus is the same thing. You know, Belarus is, um, is, uh, um, is very known for its military industry. It's very known also for uh, some of the goods which is, um, uh, could be exported to Egypt uh, as uh, some uh, as we can re we can replace other goods that are more expensive mm. for us. Mm -hmm. So it's another market for mm -hmm. us. It's also an open market for the Egyptian products at a certain time mm -hmm. because the the seasons of the fruits and the exactly seasons, agricultural it's, it's products very important. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. let's not forget tourism. So we are opening our uh, our markets on all these levels. There is another point which is very important. Mm -hmm. It's fighting terrorism. Yes. If you'd allow me to pause this just a okay. little bit, because I was just going to ask you that um, in my following question. And uh, moving also to the current visit that the president is paying to Romania. Um, Egypt heading the African Union, Romania is mm. also uh, heading the uh, mm. European Union. And from here, I want to talk about the common interests and the common agenda. Um, Eliminating and combating terrorism on the top of it. There is also overcoming the challenges of illegal immigration, mm -hmm. um, development, reflecting the Egyptian economic vision as well through that. So there seems to be a very um, common shares between both countries' agendas. As you said, we are heading the, or the we are the head of the organizations of the regional mm. organizations of, of the African continent. Union, yes. African Union and uh, the, the Romanians in the European Union. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's very important to, to understand that we are in a w one uh, close uh, relationship uh, with Europe. Yes. Because what took place in the Middle East, the war in Syria, the war in, 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 in Libya, yes, of, course. of course. And then we had another problem, which is uh, terrorism. We all know that terrorism, when it arrives to Egypt, for example, it doesn't come from nowhere. It has mm -hmm. a circle. Mm -hmm. And there is money laundry, mm -hmm. which is in it, uh, organized crime mm -hmm. in it drug dealings in it of course and all and of course uh, what we call it the white slavery mean th that people who are being mm. bought and mm. and sell like that all that it goes through the balkan countries and romania is one of them mm. so uh, i think that president sisi uh, is targeting the, this special uh, this uh, special time mm. to ensure that egypt has close security relationship was Bucharest mm -hmm. that we are uh, we will have our eyes and our contacts there with our friends in, uh, in the security mm -hmm. apparatus in, in in Bucharest that we will be targeting these criminal organizations to follow the money the fighters the mm -hmm. weapons and all these criminal acts mm -hmm. targeting Egypt mm -hmm. so uh, this is a very broad um, strategy. Mm -hmm. It's not something uh, uh, concerning uh, local Egypt. Of course not, yes. It's, 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 a, it's an external uh, global phenomena. And um, there's also some political stances that are very firm yep. from Romania towards the mm. Middle East. For instance, the Palestinian cause. Mm. Romania's a very firm, positive position towards the Palestinian cause and preserving the Palestinian rights. And President Sisi has also um, um, thanked the Romanian uh, position towards that. Uh, how far is the Middle East files also ref being reflected uh, internationally? Some countries we don't hear much about their stance or maybe the international media does not shed much light about their stance. This is also a good time uh, and chance for Egypt to uh, clarify and get clarified through these countries visits upon the Middle East files. Topping them of course is the Palestinian mm -hmm. cause. One of the uh, clever tactics in diplomacy is to contact those where the, the lights are not on always. Mm -hmm. As you said, we don't hear... I mean, they the, exist, but we don't hear about them since course, the international media is not going to be shedding light we, on it. We rarely mm -hmm. uh, hear on in the mainstream media, European mainstream media, about uh, Romania. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, when we target these countries, we are targeting the right places because they have 
important effect now in Europe. Mm. Uh, Romania, for example, Romania is not in the Eurozone, but still it's a, a, a place where all the factories of Western Europe are heading there. Mm -hmm. We know, for example, that uh, the French car makers Renault, they are based there now. Mm -hmm. um, they are the hub now of several marketing in, in Europe. So when we start contacting these countries on the diplomatic level, I think that when they gather for the European Union, they will voice our opinions also, because they understand that we have a close relationship uh, economically with them. Mm. And this is how politics goes. Of if course. you have a close relationship with some partner, you will always care or not to Yes, it's the economic interests that, that, that determine how far you can um, spread out your arms when it comes exactly. to uh, your differences or indifferences. Now, when you speak of the economic uh, file um, and how important it is, not less important, if not more important than the political file, we want to talk about a very interesting gesture, um, an honourable one actually, by um, the Bucharest University today, honouring President Assisi mm -hmm. with the doctorate uh, 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 award or degree. And um, in terms of, of course, how he handled the turmoil and maintained stability and security in Egypt as well, as um, balancing uh, the country economic cycle despite of its uh, crises. Europe itself is not far away from suffering from economic turmoil and downturns, whether it, we're seeing it on the other side mm. in London, the Brexit, the struggle in Spain, the depths of Greece. So they more or less understand what it's like to go into such a, um, a turmoil. Egypt has a vision towards the economic, uh, 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 the economic vision of 2030 for at least. How is Egypt going to be sharing their experience? You know, it's interesting to see other countries learning how Egypt handles itself in, in such a file. Of course. That's why we are um, keen, especially President Sisi in all his uh, conferences with our European brothers, as he, uh, he accurately chooses the term that it's brotherhood in Africa. We have neglected this fight mm. for a long time. We have to build our own economies because Europe, as you just said, is having a very tough time. You didn't mention, for example, France. Mm -hmm. France is oh, how can I forget <laughs> France? Wait, but see, it's, it, the, Europe is quite a big, uh, of course, a big but continent. They have the vest, it's but yes, yeah. they are suffering. I mean, yeah. The entire world has yeah. suffered one way or the other. But I'm talking about Europe <clears throat> itself because <clears throat> recently there's been a lot of presidential tours to yes. Europe. We're seeing closer ties between both continents, um, Africa speaking here, and Europe. How do you see that in the future in this gate? After, of course, continuing your point. Uh, well, uh, the decline of the economic, the Western, let's pr be pr precise, the Western European economy now mm. is due to several uh, elements, and one of them is the illegal immigration that mm -hmm. we have spoke mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. and it was triggered by the war in uh, Libya and the war in Syria. And the Arab League European um, summit course. that was held in Sharm el Sheikh also did tackle that. Of course, mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's something that Europe it cannot handle anymore. Mm -hmm. They are even losing elections for it. Mm -hmm. So I think that they call it the populist uh, government. So I think that uh, France uh, e uh, and uh, the other f European countries are seeking now to move their investment uh, and help these African countries work on themselves. I think Egypt is the link now mm. between both of them. We are telling them, okay, we have now the Suez Canal sector, mm -hmm. we have other places in Egypt, come and invest yes. in Egypt. Yes, and there's also investment on different levels, even logistic mm. levels, of as course. Romania is, I mean, uh, Belarus is specialized in yes. as well. Yeah, we, 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 let's not forget that we have our military industry mm -hmm. here in mm -hmm. our own country mm -hmm. and we exchange the expertise with Ukraine, with mm -hmm. Russia, with Poland, Romania and Belarus. So we have excellent relations with all That's these countries. That's great to know. That's great to know. Of yep. course, we'll be still following up on President Sisi's current visit in Bucharest. And um, unfortunately, time is up for this segment. Dr. Sharif Am um, Amir, Professor of 
political science. Thank you very Thank much you. for joining Hi. in. All the football soccer fans out there who want to know more about the African 2019, the best and most important tournament here at the African continent, which is about to kick off in a couple.